Estelle Joy Strike. I go by Joy. So my brother Randy, he was involved in a work-related accident. Um, he was uh, inspecting chlorine gas tanks. That was his job. And um, accidentally a new worker turned on the chlorine gas. And it was a very serious accident. It resulted in his death. Oh yeah. Um, so he he was a character. He um, he always told jokes. Um, he always kept the family laughing at family gatherings. Um, and uh, that's I think why we miss him so much. Is you know, when the family was all together, he, he kept us all laughing. One of uh, fond memories that always comes to mind is when he got off work one day, he came home, um, and our dog, we had a family dog, and uh, he came out in the backyard and we were throwing the ball for the dog, just laughing and playing, and um, I just remember him being a young, healthy man, you know, able to walk around and not be on oxygen and not um, be sick. And um, he had a family he left behind and uh, his wife and his daughter. And uh, it, was, it was really hard to see him go like that. He had only 20% of his lungs that he used after the accident. Randy had worked there for a number of years doing the same job, and uh, he was good at his job. But it was dangerous, of course, to inspect those tanks. Um, and a newer employee that had turned on the gas, um, and he didn't realize that my brother was in the, in the chlorine gas tank. That's how the accident occurred. So, um, I had called to my parents' house, and uh, my father got on the phone and said, your brother's been in an accident. And he said, it's serious, and he may not, he may, he may not make it. He's in the hospital, and uh, it was just a shock. It was a shock, I mean, and I had a million questions. My father hadn't been to the hospital yet, so he couldn't really answer any questions. But. Um, after he, my brother got out of the hospital, it was all about what could we do to help him. And um, so the family all pulled together and uh, we had to take care of him. And until he, until he passed away, we took care of him. So, um, sorry. So um, I have a background um, in the medical field. I was CNA. And one of the things that he had to take was injections of morphine. And he was doing it for himself at first, but um, as it goes, when you're in more pain, you take more morphine. And um, he got to the point where he was taking too much and he didn't realize it. So I had to administer, it, administer that to him. And uh, that was hard. It was hard to see him in pain. He'd ask for more. It wouldn't be time for more. And, uh, and I was the only one that could help besides getting a nurse. So um, I helped him with that. He was my older brother, so I looked up to him. And uh, it was really hard on my father as well when he passed because he had to bury his child. So it's very difficult to lose a loved one. Um, but you never think that when your loved one's going to work, they're, they're going to get hurt or you know, die. And um, I think just to anyone in the workplace working around dangerous equipment, just please exercise extreme caution and follow all safety guidelines because you never know what can happen if you don't. Well, we miss him. Um, my father has now passed away, but we miss him and the whole family missed him. Um, and uh, he just kind of 
got to go on in this life, but you regret it ever happening. It could have been prevented. <laughs>